Hi, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I'm going to show you the sinusoid. Now, um, it's quite obvious. This is a utility in the accessories, by the way, and uh, right there. And utilities are free of charge, uh, so you can use it any way you like uh, in any production situation. Uh, and uh, it comes with the installation of the CraftRX Studio. And uh, what it does is it outputs a sinusoid. So this cross will move up and down, up and down here in a sinusoid fashion with a certain frequency and a certain amplitude. Um, and uh, why would this be of interest? Well, because uh, it also creates a virtual input. Now, if you have checked checked out uh, the some of the ruler tutorials like the uh, scale ruler or, or angular ruler or distance ruler then you know that what a virtual input is and if you haven't I will just explain it very shortly here I will create a 1d positioner here and uh, let's move it there and um, rotate it actually So say, and uh, and uh, the thing here is that I with this one D positioner here I could map my input device here the Logitech Dual Action that I have this one it's a keyboard so I could just uh, map it to the Y axis for example by pulling my left thumbstick here now I won't do that because uh, and I could do it manually also the y-axis there. Now instead of doing the, the uh, input device here, the real input device, I will use a virtual input device which is a, an input that the sinusoid has created. So this is how stuff communicate with each other in, in, in um, CraftRect Studio. And uh, let's see what buttons so to speak it has. It has a sinus value. That's the only one this one has. And uh, that means that this uh, this 1D positioner here, I will just change these response factors here so that it's immediate like that. And uh, let's see what happens here when I press record. Well, hallelujah. We have a sinus uh, movement of this uh, 1D positioner here that's exactly the same as uh, as this one and that's because it outputs this value here you see that's the output the current value of the sinus so it moves on and up down and up and that's all it does and of course I can change the frequency say I change it to 10 and then it's uh, much faster like that and uh, I can change the amplitude to say one half. And as you saw there, this doesn't happen immediately because we have a response factor here. So any change in the amplitude and frequency that you just continue from some point in time. So here, for example, I continue from here and uh, I choose to go back to the frequency of one. That doesn't happen immediately. It uh, happens uh, sort of gradually. And uh, the last thing that I will show you here is the absolute value. And guess what that is? Well, you don't get minus here. So if I click that bump, boing, it will just bounce boing, up to a half again. And uh, that's all this one does. Uh, you sh I'm sure you can find some uses for this one in si certain situations. And uh, I thank you for the listening and uh, good luck. Bye-bye.